Well, hello and welcome to the program. I'm Kairi Okikiolu, sitting in for Sean Kimbaloye here in Lagos. We begin tonight with what is turning out to be the biggest story of the day. It's the sentence in, in the UK of Nigeria's former Deputy Senate President, Ike Ikre Madu, his wife, Beatrice, and their physician, Dr. Obeta. Well, this is a case that has shocked Nigeria and the world, because Senator Kuramadu is Nigeria's longest serving deputy Senate president, the fifth most powerful man in government as at that time between 2007 and 2019. This is a first of its kind verdict that saw Senator Kuramadu sentenced to nine years and eight months in prison, his wife Beatrice four years and six months, while their doctor, Obina Beta, received a 10-year prison term following their conviction for organ trafficking in March. Well, our correspondent, Juliana Olainka, joins us from London. Uh, she's been on this since it broke last year, June, and she was in court today for the sentencing. Juliana, what a day it has been, really. The day has finally come. The sentence has been handed down. Can you take us through what played out in court today, Juliana? Goodness me. Well, I think you're pretty correct, uh, Kyle Day, in describing this as a pretty mammoth, as I've said to viewers, very complicated, complex a case that has spanned jur the two jurisdictions that has sent shockwaves, not just in Nigeria through the political class, but of course uh, through twitter through instagram through social media and of course here in britain i'm sure everybody knows now that this was actually televised live it was televised live across britain today so millions of people who before today would never have heard of the senator know exactly about their plight um today at the old bailey it was a very long uh, hearing it began at about 10 o'clock we didn't get the final verdict from the judge until about 2.30. And I think everybody was absolutely shocked because, of course, as you said, this is a landmark case. Nothing of its kind has ever been heard in the courts of England and Wales. This is the first time we are seeing such a verdict on Section 2 of the Modern Slavery Act of 2015. And you've gone through those very lengthy prison sentences. The senator... Uh, being sentenced to nine years and eight months in prison, uh, Beatrice Aquaramadu, four years and six months, and uh, Dr. Obina Obeta, 10 years. Now, anybody that is familiar with the UK judiciary system will know that they are very unlikely to spend that amount of time in prison. Um, I believe between them, or as individuals, they probably spent about 200 days in custody. Of course, that's going to be taken into account. And then, of course, typically here in the UK, um, your sentence is reduced by half in terms of how much time you actually spend in prison. So perhaps if we look at the senator, for example, nine years and eight months, he may serve about four years if we take into amount how many times he's spent in prison already, and then he'll spend the rest on license but you know even four years in prison for the senator is a it is a complete fall from grace in its whole entirety in fact i think it's worth saying that the judge did say about all three defendants but particularly of course to the senator that he is a man of good character i think it's worth saying that as, as you quite rightly said kyle there were several letters in fact 51 letters pleading for clemency asking for justice to be tempered with mercy was actually sent to the judge to the crown prosecution service and also to the central criminal court and in his summary the judge did actually say that one of the reasons why uh, the sentencing wasn't much higher for the senator was because of those letters and so i think it's very very important that we take stock of the fact that the intervention by the senate the intervention by the House of Representatives from ECOWAS, from the former President Olusegun and Obasanjo, really did help this case. But unfortunately, it just didn't go uh, far enough. It was a very, very tense um, a, a scene and atmosphere in court, very emotional. Of course, at the heart of this is Sonia Ekweramadu, who still is suffering from a very debilitating, very costly 
a kidney disease, a disease that she may not survive from. Of course, during the time that she's been spending visiting private clinicians in London, that has had some cost. Then you take into account the cost that it has accumulated for uh, the senator to defend himself. It's certainly gone into hundreds of thousands of pounds. Um, his defence lawyer uh, said to the judge that the senator's in debt. He's in debt of up to a million pounds. He's been borrowing money from friends and family. So it's um, it, it, it has been a very emotional day. And I think something I think we, we've got to reference is the fact that the president of Nigeria is in London at the moment. He's been invited to London officially to attend um, certain coronation celebrations on behalf of King Charles, who is now the head of state of Britain. And unfortunately, I do think his presence has been marred with the fact that, as you quite rightly said, uh, the fifth, once the fifth most powerful man in Nigeria has been sentenced for such a long time. Well, Juliana, one can literally feel the emotion, all of the, you know, different emotional twists in that story. Thank you for your reportage. You've been following this uh, from June when it broke. So thank you. Uh, once again, our London correspondent, Juliana Olainka, walking us through what played out in the courts today.